Hey there tubers, Redneck Brian here. I decided to do a quick walk around video of my new tractor. I know I did uh, in the very first video, I did a couple quick quick shots of it at the engine and a few other things. I just wanted to do uh, a little bit more in depth video and talk about my plans for this tractor. As you know, I did have a General Lee plan in the works with my other tractor, with my Massey Ferguson. Obviously that plan is out the window because I purchased this. And this is a side note, the guy who I got this off of is probably going to end up buying the Massey Ferguson in the spring. So it will be out of my hair. But in the meantime, if anyone's interested in it, let me know. He said he might buy it, he doesn't know yet. Also, he might buy the 9 horse Tecumseh from it. So anyways, this one here has really nice tires on it. Good tread, no cracks. That is the left side one, no cracks. Same with this right hand side tire. I swapped the battery, as you can see. It's actually that round cap one I have. Uh, the seat is disconnected. The seat released because there's actually there was um, a plow on this at one time. The plow never came with it, which kind of sucks, but. It's not a big deal. So anyways, uh, there's under the hood. I noticed um, when, for my last video, I was at my friend's down the street. That's why I had to end it real quick. Uh, the hood seems kind of loose right in there. So I may try to do some sort of reinforcing right in this area or something like that. So I haven't, I haven't fully decided. It actually came with a full tank of gas. I thought it just had a little bit in the bottom, but it was actually full. And I filled it up a little bit more. Show ya. And I also put some fuel stabilizer in there. Just to help to stabilize the old gas that was in it. And stuff like that. It still has, as you can see, the disengage and engage for the mower. Which I'm going to I'm, I'm just gonna take it off if I don't need it. So and my other plans are I'm going to um, put gas pedal on this. But I'm going to keep the hand throttle as well. So I'm going to see if I can rig it in some way that it just pulls from the throttle the throttle lever and not from the choke as well. So basically, if something happens with the gas pedal, I'll still have this throttle here, which will keep it running on normal idle and you'll have choke and everything else. Basically, just the gas pedal will be a governor bypass, essentially. So that, that's my idea with that around this side of it front tires are in really good shape as well um, the mower raise and lower right here will be removed I may find some sort of use for this but yeah it's going to be removed um, it has some good speed out of it so far that motor this nice motor on it and the exhaust let's just do a couple minutes about the exhaust since it comes out the hood already, that's why I actually saw that in the picture of this. It's actually going to work out in my favor. I'm just going to undo that seat clamp right there, and I'm going to add my uh, stack. So yeah, chooch it. She will be choochin' once again. So yeah, I'm going to add my stack. I think that's actually my parking brake right there. Uh, yep, parking brake. I could not find the parking brake because I was actually when I was at my friend's, it started rolling on me. So I'm happy I found the parking brake. I'm gonna slide it down actually. No, I have no idea how the parking brake works. That still rolls. That does nothing. Might not be hooked up. Don't, no idea. Let's just check the oil once again. The oil's clean. So, and it's full. So I was kind of worried about that driving it, but it's fine, like I thought. So anyways, um, pretty much it. Let me close up the hood again. 
show you the front. It does have a kind of a nice front end. I don't mind this front end. It's it's real racy. So I want to put the key in. I did figure out the ignition. I can turn off the headlights. So I'm not pissed off about that. It's not like a Troy. I may start. I may not start. I don't. I haven't decided yet. There's the headlights are on. So the center part here, I'm willing to black out between the headlights because this is going generally. So from here down is all going to be black. It's all going to be repainted black. So I click the key once more. Headlights are off. So works out pretty good. There. So yeah, from around the two headlights, it's going to be black. And the whole front grill is going to be black. This down here was from a snow plow that used to be on here. This is from the snow plow. My uh, friend was saying, oh, I should put the snow plow on here because this thing seems really heavy. No, I'd still rather put the snow plow on the Honda when I get it. So, Yeah, this is bolted to the frame. It looks like they added a bit of a subframe to the front end. So I'll just grind those welds off. Once it gets warm, I'll take the hood right off and do that. So, and actually, I like this style of hood. That you can open it up, and you have the side the side skirts on it. I actually prefer this type of hood. I had an, uh, an older Craftsman II before. It had a similar hood, but it was uh, it came up and over. And I actually like this one better. So way that this one operates so I know when it started before is boom quick it fired right up so let's choke it and let's see what happens It, it runs real nice. Um, so the issues that I was having was just the battery was low, and it just wouldn't crank. And my jumper pack was dead, so that's why it wouldn't fire up. It's starting up real good now. Try it out tomorrow, see if a, a cold start it maybe or on Monday. So let's take a quick peek underneath. For shits and giggles. <laughs> wow, it's actually in really good shape down here. Still has the mower rubbers. Nice big tranny in the back. That big ugly, big ugly pulley, which will be converted to a small. A few springs, which all need to stay. Belt's in good shape. Good belt. And this front pulley, I haven't fully decided on how I'm converting it yet. Uh, I gotta look up on uh, YouTube, see how other people have done it. So that's pretty much it for under here. And this here is part of the old mower, so it's going to be removed. That whole bar, and then we'll add some side, we'll add some braces to this. But it's actually, it's not bad. But I'm thinking I'm going to probably add a few braces to it. Here's the motor. And I figure out where I can add the gas pedal. Because it's going on the right hand side, obviously. And I got to figure out where I can add the gas pedal. And, um,. How to hook it up so I can run the line either way around the motor. So I have to figure that out once it warms up again. Uh, there is a spot right there to weld it, weld it right where those uh, two bolts are. I imagine those are frame bolts, so weld it right to the side of that. I think that's what these are. Yep, frame bolts. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. I'm, I'm thinking about adding a stereo to it. So, I just noticed I got this whole area right in here and yeah it's actually that's actually just an empty steel box in the frame you can see it right down through here so basically an empty steel box going all the way through here so I'm thinking about cutting that out and adding a stereo to there in the CB 
So I got the CB antenna. I'll be able to put it on the back and then I just have to figure out a spot for speakers. Choose it. So yeah, that's pretty much it. I believe the mower, when the mower is engaged, it won't won't even turn over. So it's not bad to have it hooked up still. So, but all that's going to be do away with. I will keep the clutch, the clutch uh, safety though. I do prefer them. So you're not rolling and trying to start. So that's pretty much it. It's it's a nice piece. Even my buddy says it's a nice piece. Uh, to, if it had a mower, I would have turned right around and resold it, tuned it up, resold it. But no mower, it's becoming a racer. So we'll turn the battery charger on. Trusty old SeaTac. It says it was charged or, um, when I came back out here, but since I cranked it, might as well just turn it back on. It'll keep the battery up nice and nice and full. So I don't I don't start them with that turned on. So not good for the SeaTac. So so yeah, that's pretty much it. So hopefully you enjoyed this video. A quick walk around and some information. And talk to you guys all later. Keep it redneck and uh, please subscribe and comment.